Hey YouTube, it's Robert and in this video we're going to do a real quick installation mounting a TV up onto a wall. And this is a project that's really easy to do, it doesn't take a lot of tools, and it's a great way for us to get a TV off of a TV stand, clear up a little bit of floor space, and fill up a little bit of wall space. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. Okay, so the first thing that we want to determine is what kind of mount that our TV needs. And so any TV that's designed to be able to be installed to a wall mount is going to have some screw holes here at the back. And these are going to be spaced in different sequences depending on the particular TV. So if we open up our quick setup guide for whatever TV we purchased, we should find in the page referring to wall mount installation that we will have wall mount hole pattern. That pattern is also referred to often as the VESA pattern, which is just a measurement of the width and the height or length of those holes. Then secondarily, we have our wall mount screw size, which is the size of the screws that are uh, needed to go into the back of the TV, in this case, M6. So again, looking at the back of our TV, we have a distance of 100 millimeters from the left to right, and then a distance of 200 millimeters from the top to the bottom. So again, that is our VESA pattern. And we also want to verify that the wall that we're going to mount the TV on has access to power. So as you can see, we have an outlet down below and we have power to that wall. Now generally the next step is going to be locating our studs. So if you don't have a stud finder, you might want to pick one up. In this particular case, I won't even need that. I have a 68 inch wall here where I have a stud on each end and then I have 16 inch spaced studs uh, on the left and the right with one stud in the center. If I have a mounting bracket that is designed to just be drilled into one stud, I could go right smack dab in the middle of this wall. The particular mounting bracket we're using today is designed to be drilled into two studs 16 inches apart. So I'm actually going to off-center install the bracket and then the TV is going to slide over and still be centered on the wall when we're finished. I could also mount this mounting bracket in the middle of the wall and just use one stud and then I could reinforce it with a couple of additional drywall anchors on the side if I wanted to. But for this particular purpose, assuming you guys at home are going to be going 16 inch studs apart, that's how we're going to do it today. And the TV mount that we're using today is just one from Amazon. There's a thousand different versions of these on there, uh, but I will include a link to this particular one. It's going to come with the screws that we need. Those M6 bolts are actually in here. They did not come with the TV, they come with the mount. We have our screws that we'll be driving into the studs. We have a small level that we can use to make sure our TV is level. If you have one at home, that's kind of a small one, but it'll get the job done. We have our two arms that will actually hold the TV and then these will go on to the wall mount itself. Now this wall mount itself is very heavy duty. It's actually significantly heavier even than the TV that we're putting up today, but it is capable of holding a much larger TV should they ever decide to upgrade to a larger TV on this wall. All right guys, and there's gonna be a little change in the audio here because I was getting a lot of background noise, so I'm gonna narrate over these next few clips. But I'm now marking for where the TV wall mount is going to go. And when I measure for the height from the ground up to the wall plate, I need to remember our TV screen is going to sit lower than where our mount is going to be. So I need to deduct the distance from the bracket where that will sit on the back of the TV to the actual bottom of the screen to make sure that I don't have my TV sitting lower than what I anticipated it at. We've marked those holes and now we're gonna go ahead and drill our pilot holes. We drill through the drywall and then we should feel some resistance when we get to the stud. And as I go ahead and I start to pull my drill back out, we're actually gonna see some of that wood grain getting pulled out as well. And once I've drilled my pilot holes, I am ready to mount my TV wall mount bracket. I start by hand tightening the bolts into the studs just enough so that I can support the weight of the wall mount because it's very heavy. So I kind of hand tighten all four of my bolts first. That way they're supported and then I can get out my actual socket wrench to tighten the bolts the rest of the way. All right, and once I've hand tightened those all, then as the bracket is supporting itself, I can go ahead and use my socket wrench to tighten these all the way in. Now, this one I'm using actually came with the wall mounting bracket, and I'm using it to show that it will get the job done. However, it's a lot of work. If you have an actual socket wrench at home already that you can use to do this, it'll make your life a lot easier. You won't have to muscle through this so much. And once we've got them all completely tightened, you can see we are ready to set our mounting bracket back in place against the wall. 
And then as we extend the arms of our mount away from the wall, we see there is no movement at all in the plate against the drywall. Now we're gonna just need to attach our actual arms to the back of the TV. As you notice, they have a slot here that's designed to hook over the actual bracket with screws that will tighten the bottom to keep it in place. So we're gonna go ahead and bolt our arms into the back of the TV. We need to decide which hole that we want those in. It will affect the height that the TV sits. And I'm also choosing this third slot at the top there uh, for the purpose of hiding the arms entirely behind the TV screen so that once it's mounted, we won't see these at all. Then we go ahead and we tighten all of our bolts. And we make sure that we have those bottom bolts uh, that are designed to lock the TV in place against our wall plate are set all the way to the bottom so that they will clear the bottom of the wall plate until we're ready to tighten them up there. So we go ahead and we finally get to hook our TV onto the back of the wall plate. If you're using a larger TV, this may be part where you need two people. But now you can see we can slide our TV along this frame and those two screws we're going to go ahead and tighten uh, up on the bottom of that bracket so that the TV is now locked in place and there's no way that it's coming off of our wall mount. And we just need to get it high enough up there that it will lock it in place. It doesn't have to be flush against the top of that frame. It just needs to trap the TV. Now we can still slide the TV back. As I mentioned before, our bracket is not centered on this wall, but our TV is. And finally, you get to see here a little bit of the tilt of this TV, as well as what the full range of motion looks like. This particular wall mount allows us a lot of freedom in the direction that the screen is pointing, both uh, vertically and horizontally. And you get a nice little look at the ring light there in the background. So there it is guys, our TV's mounted. We have it centered in the wall. As you can see, we were able to slide our TV back and forth here. So even though our bracket was a little bit off center, we we're able to get our TV back to center on this wall. And because we did use a little bit of a heavier rated uh, wall mount than what this TV required, when they inevitably decide that they want a bigger TV up on this wall, they'll be ready for it. And we should only have to take the old TV off and put the new TV on. If you guys found this video helpful, be sure to hit that like button for me and comment down below with any additional questions that you might have. Until next time, I'm Robert. Happy remodeling and have a great day.